Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, September 13th. Friday the 13th, for those of you who are superstitious, go back to sleep. For those of you who are agnostic and don't really care, welcome to Friday the 13th. It's the Friday. After the Thursday, that was ECB. We totally fucked it up yesterday. Uh, tried getting long a little bit early. Uh, got stopped out on the way down uh, to 109.26. Really frustrating um, kind of a day for us. But that's behind us now. Uh, and uh, we just have to look forward. No sense looking back. We know what we did wrong, uh, and just have to correct it. Anyway, here we are today. Obviously, we put in that uh, 11087 high, which links up with this uh, 11085 high from um, the 5th of September. And we have this trend line here at uh, 111.04. Is this going to follow through today? We think it is. Uh, so uh, we'll be adding to Euro Longs through 110.85. Uh, we'll be adding to Euro Aussie Longs through 161.28. This was Wednesday, Wednesday's high, Thursday's high, same high. We had a 161.19 high on Tuesday, and Monday's high was 161.20. How do you like them apples? Uh, looks like we have a platform for, for higher euro here. EuroCAD also had a wildly bullish day bullish engulfed where is your cad look at that new low for the year bullish engulfed to a new high crazy right euro cad's a little tougher um, the charts not as Well, I guess it's not as tough. We're right here now, uh, 146.35. The problem with EuroCAD is um, you know, where are you going to leave your stop? You kind of have to leave it below 146. Kind of a long one. So we're going to leave EuroCAD alone today. Focus on Euro Aussie and Euro Dollar. We also had um, Euro Sterling, same type of bar, just to add. So we we actually just nipped down below this 88.90 level, uh, but bullish engulfed. This just adds to the story. Euro yen, same thing, but it was mid range, bullish engulfed, 119.82. Um, links up with this high here, uh, which was 119.87. High has been 80 today. All of these Euro charts uh, are looking very bullish, so we're not going to try and fight this. Uh, we will just join in the fray. S&P's story of a bunch of tweets. Hourly gives you a better story here. We zipped up in Asia on a tweet. We zipped down in New York on a tweet and then we crawled back up 3022 it's kind of a kind of a level now uh, but also there's a pivot at 3000 so we are going to be selling back down through 3000 if and when we see it that is uh, the plan in ES 
Finally, Aussie Dollar. Where is this guy? We've been talking about this level now for like a week. Aussie's done nothing, but we will be selling today through uh, 68.50. So, a couple of long tails here. This thing looks like it wants to turn, has had no energy. I don't know what is going to drive this thing. Uh, the calendar is weak today. We have retail sales in the U.S. Um, and that's kind of about it import price that's useless trade balance in Europe uh, German wholesale price index useless we also have Michigan today um, my alma mater coming out with uh, expectations and current conditions so retail sales will be interesting but uh, just to sum it up we're trading on the long side in euro and euro crosses today we'll be looking to sell uh, s and p's through 3000 uh, and we're looking to sell aussie through 68.50 that's all i got today we got some of these levels that are pretty close so i'm just going to jump here uh, make sure my house is in order i wish you guys good luck and tons of dough I will see you on Monday.